All right, so I have seen the latest DC movie, Blue Beetle, which I believe is the second to last movie in the DC Extended Universe before James Gunn reboots the whole thing. So theoretically, this movie shouldn't matter in the grand scheme of things, besides whether or not it's a good movie or not. And I'm here to tell you that it is a fun time at the movies. It is a decent movie that has its flaws, but overall the charm really just kind of cancels out all those flaws and is able to give audiences an enjoyable movie going experience. Everyone that was at the theater where I was seemed really engaged in the movie, seemed to be having a really good time, and this movie kind of blew my expectations out of the water. Just judging by the trailers, I wasn't expecting much from this movie. I thought it was going to be kind of cliche and same old, same old, and in a way it is, but it has a very nice personal touch to it that sets it apart from other superhero movies that feel like they're made by an AI like and churned out by some sort of studio machine. This movie feels very grounded and personal in not every aspect but in a lot of aspects. The biggest aspect is the relationship between our main character Jaime and his family. Uh, usually the hero and their relationship with their family is very hit or miss in superhero movies. It's either a great emotional center to the movie or it's very cliche. The best example I can think of right now of it being cliche is when they try to do this in the latest Transformers movie, Rise of the Beasts, where they try to give the main character sort of a connection to his little brother and it just really fell flat for me. I really did not care about his family in that movie at all. But this movie actually spends time with the family. You get to know each one of them individually, and you really do like the characters, and you want to see more of them. And they are in the movie quite a bit, and they are a welcome addition. So that part of the movie I really enjoyed. Uh, the characters are all charming, uh, especially our main character, a Blue Beetle himself. Uh, he's a very good actor, has a lot of on-screen presence. Uh, even the cliche romance, even though it is cliche, I didn't hate it. It was sweet. So yeah, that, that's a great way to describe this movie, sweet. And like I mentioned earlier, though, it does have its cliche moments. The biggest one is the villain. Uh, there's really like two villains. One is a bigger villain than the other one. But yeah, they just, they were very stock, very cliche, just straightforward. Here's our bad guy. And their motivations are kind of shallow. They try to give one of them a bit of a sympathetic side really near the end of the movie. And it kind of worked for me, but still I wasn't really kind of vibing with that whole story. I just felt they were very one note the whole movie. Um, also, this movie points out that um, our main character, Jaime, is having a uh, symbiotic relationship with the scarab, which gives him the blue beetle armor, and that the scarab is its own person, it's sentient, so it's these two people living in the same body, essentially. And they try to kind of form a connection with these two characters, but they really did not spend a lot of time with these two interacting. And so there are some interactions that uh, these two characters had at the end of the movie that I felt would have been a lot more emotionally impacting if these two characters spent time bonding over the course of the whole movie. Uh, but instead the movie chooses to focus on the family, which did work very well. It's just kind of unfortunate that the Scarab character, to me, felt like it was left to the sidelines in a little bit of a way. So yeah, that's basically uh, the ins and outs of that movie. Uh, it's in theaters right now, so go check it out and see for yourself.